Hi everyone, welcome to BISP trainings. Uh, my name is Faiza Alam and uh, as, as we are uh, uh, having the transaction cycle overview in which uh, today we will be looking upon the fixed uh, asset management. Uh, I mean, we will take the case of a fixed asset management. So first, uh, I think the first we should know what is an asset. So an asset is a resource with economic value that is owned by an individual or a company with an expectation uh, so that it will provide a future benefit. So fixed asset uh, is also one of the category of the asset. Uh, these are known as the long term asset as uh, it is not easily it is not uh, you know uh, easily converted into cash or uh, it is not sold off immediately in the business. It, uh, it, it remains in the business for a longer period of time. So today we will be uh, we will be knowing about the scenario in which a fixed asset management actually works. So as we all know that fixed asset cycle uh, starts with acquisition till its disposal. So we will take a, we will take a case for that. So here we have taken an example uh, in which uh, XYZ Limited has started its business with a capital of five lakh dollars. So we have to record the journal entries uh, for these transactions. Uh, first is uh, IT equipment purchased worth rupees one lakh dollars, and its payment was made by check. Uh, it was estimated that the asset has a useful life of five years, and it has to be depreciated twenty percent each year on the uh, straight line method of depreciation. So uh, since uh, it is an uh, example of a fixed asset, so fixed assets are to be depreciated each year and uh, it also has a useful life which is uh, in this case uh, has five years. So this is a, a first entry where an uh, IT equipment has been purchased in the business and its depreciation rate and its useful life is also given. The second case is at the end of the fourth year, the company decided to sell off the equipment for $80,000. So this is the entry for the disposal. So what is disposal actually? So disposal is the removal of the asset from the accounting books uh, just to, you know, when the company doesn't want to keep the asset in the business. We will be looking upon the steps for the disposal of asset. The first step in this process is the removing of the asset. Like if uh, we want to have a disposal first, the asset should be removed from the books. The second is uh, removing the accumulated depreciation. Uh, we have to remove the accumulated depreciation after removing the asset. Then uh, if the asset is sold off, for the disposal, there are two scenarios. Either the set, either the asset is sold off, or it is you know written off from the assets uh, from the books completely, or it is scrapped uh, from the records. So, uh, if it is sold off, so definitely there would be some cash transactions. So, its recording, cash recording would be uh, taking place. And lastly, uh, when the sale when the sale has been made, so there must be some gain or loss. So we will reach out to that. So here we have taken a journal entry. If we take the first uh, uh, transaction into consideration wherein IT equipment has been purchased and the payment was made by check. So you can see that uh, as asset is coming into the business, so it has been debited for $1 lakh. So IT equipment has been debited by $1 lakh. And uh, the payment is, since the payment is made by check, so bank will be credited since bank is the giver. So I have told you that fixed assets are depreciated. So every year depreciation is charged on the in the asset. So for that also journal entry is to be passed. So for the de for pass uh, for uh, you know uh, passing a journal entry for depreciation, depreciation account is to be debited, and accumulated depreciation account is to be credited. So here you can see that. Uh, I have uh, depreciated the asset for the four years and like uh, uh, there it, it was mentioned that the asset was to be asset is to be depreciated at 20%. So one lakh of 20% would be 2000 and this is the 8000 depreciation for four years. Uh, we will be going back to the steps over here. 
so what happens when the asset is sold off uh, in the disposal process so in order to arrive to the gain or loss uh, we have to uh, find out uh, whether the sale proceeds is greater than the net book value or it is uh, lesser than the net book value so in order to arrive on it so if the sales you can see that uh, in the example the net book value of the asset is sorry the sale proceeds from the asset is 80000 dollars and net net book value is arrived by uh, by deducting the accumulated depreciation from the actual cost so actual cost of the asset was 1 lakh dollars and the accumulated depreciation i have told you that it was 8000 dollars so when we deduct it uh, from the sales proceeds that was 80000 dollars we will be arriving at the 12000 that was of minus Uh, if it is shown under the minus so it means that it is a loss i have told you that uh, if the sale proceeds are uh, greater than the net book value it will be a gain then like uh, but uh, if it is less than the net book value so it is a loss so in this scenario uh, the company is facing a loss of 12000 so again uh, what happens in order to remove the asset or remove the accumulated depreciation from the books the entries has to be reversed so you can see in the picture uh, since it is a sales transaction so cash is coming into the business that is why cash has been debited uh, by 80000 dollars and you can see in the second entry the accumulated depreciation account uh, that has been credited uh, so in order to remove it from the books we have to debit it as we have done in the second uh, third entry and uh, we will not be moving to a loss on sale of asset and we have to credit the equipment account the first step uh, in the disposal is we have to remove the asset from the book so here you can see when the asset was purchased it was debited but uh, in order to remove it or dispose it off we have to credit it so we have credited it with the actual cost so what happens when we uh, when we uh, uh, got to know that obviously the sales uh, uh, sales are looking you know lesser than the book value so definitely there is a loss and that loss would be of 12000 dollars so moving on to the net sheet application for as we have purchased an asset so for that uh, we have to pass a journal entry so we will be going under the transactions financials and make journal entry so here a journal entry page has opened up first we will change the form then we will take the subsidiary over here you can see that the uh, currency and uh, the exchange rate has already been taken i will mark this entry as approved posting period is here we will go down uh, in order to pass an entry for asset purchase so the it equipment account has been debited for 1 lakh dollars and since the payment was made to cash so we have to mention a bank account bank here you can take uk bank click on add and we will save this entry so we got the confirmation that our journal entry has been passed uh, for purchasing an equipment for 1 lakh dollars so for disposal uh, we as we are having a separate module which is a fixed asset module so passing a journal entry for the fixed asset disposal we will be going under the fixed asset journal types and disposal entries so we have to pass a new journal uh, fixed asset uh, disposal journal entry 
we just have to select a subsidiary first and we will change the status from pending to approved now we have to pass an entry uh, like cash has been debited for eighty thousand dollars and uh, accumulated depreciation that was we have to search for the accumulated depreciation the depreciation was of 8000 and uh, since we are having a loss of 12000 dollars that was of 12000 and we have to credit the uh, research equipment account by one lakh so this is the journal uh, disposal journal entry in which cash account deb uh, debited accumulated depreciation account debited realized gain uh, loss it is, a, it is a loss so it has been debited and research equipment has been credited so this is a journal entry for it and after doing this we will click on save so you can see that the, the set uh, factor set disposal journal entry is now been approved for posting so this is all about the journal entry if we go into the reports to see uh, where are these uh, numbers are appearing so for that we will be going under the reports financials and income statement this is already for the month of april so we can see that uh, these are the two uh, transactions uh, that have uh, that has their effect like accumulated depreciation for the amount of 82000 and the realized gain uh, loss that was for 23000 if we want to have a detailed view we can click on it so here you can see that uh, the fixed asset disposal entry that have been passed on 11, 11th of april for eight thousand dollars is here all right this is the entry that we have just passed now we will be going back to summary and uh, if we click on realize gain or loss so here is the 12000 loss that we uh, that the company is facing and uh, the date you are show, uh, that the date is shown that fixed asset disposal entry on 11th of april so if we click on it it will take us to the journal page so this is the uh, loss that the that is faced in the company due to the fixed asset disposal so these are the two transactions that are there in the income statement so if we go into the balance sheet so for balance sheet reports financials and balance sheet so here you can see when the um, research equipment was purchased the payment was made by the bank so we, we will click on it to see the transaction number sorry the amount of that transaction so 
if we go into the April eleventh uh, April, uh, this is the journal entry. You can see that for one lakh dollars uh, payment has been made uh, by check. So you can see that this is the transaction for UK Bank. If we go back to summary and uh, if we go into the fixed asset uh, that is research equipment, so here you can see that it is shown with three thousand. Okay, we will click on it. So these are the two entries relating to research and equipment. The first is the journal entry that have been passed for purchasing this research equipment, and the second entry is uh, uh, relating to its disposal. So you can see that uh, uh, the amount for it uh, is shown with a negative mark. Why? Because we are facing a loss in this uh, transaction. So the asset uh, is, you know, you can see that uh, it is shown with a negative marking just because we are facing a loss in it. We will be going back to summary. So this is about the uh, bank and the research equipment. If we go down for uh, cash transaction, since we are receiving cash by selling of the IT equipment. So here yeah, we can see that this is the fixed asset uh, disposal entry by which uh, the cash uh, for uh, eighty thousand dollars has been received. If we click on it, it will take us to that uh, disposal entry. So you can see that the eighty thousand amount of cash is being coming into the business. That is why it is shown with a positive marking. This is the cash in uh, transaction. so this is how we can have uh, we can have a, a proper view of the fixed asset disposal from its acquisition till its disposal we have passed a journal entry for that and we have uh, seen uh, the uh, reports of, for it where are these uh, numbers and amounts are appearing into our income statement and balance sheet so that's all for today in case of any questions queries and consultations you can write to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you